How do you know Texas is rubbing off on you? Because you're going to Bucky's again. How can you not stop at Bucky's? I think I'd go inside, seeing as Christmas is coming up, and see if I could find the most quintessentially Texas things. Because that's what Bucky's is all about. It's the first thing you see when you walk into Bucky's a guy in full camo. I didn't even see him. Who can resist a Bucky's beaver onesie? Not me. Texas shaped chopping block. Tempting. Okay, as far as impulse buys go, I'm going to say the $450 90-quart crawfish boiler ranks pretty high. Do I need this? No. Do I want this? Kind of? Christmas story reference. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. I like that one. If you're like a total slut for Christmas, does that make you a ho-ho-ho? I'm proud of that one. I think I found the winner, guys. You know what I want? I want a painting, a picture, something framed for my wall of fake cow fur. Why? When you want to have those kind of Christian vibes, but you also want to be kind of like a rapper. Sup? So, sign for my bedroom door, the boneyard. <laughs> no, I'm not putting that in the video. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yes. Found something for my wife. Nothing is really lost until mom can't find it. True that. You might have noticed Bucky's has already done what it does to everybody. I came in here with a mission, which is to find quintessentially Texas things, and I've just been distracted by everything else. Now I'm just making video about things inside Bucky's. Well. Alright, here's where I completely abandon my mission and go and get a brisket sandwich. Hope you like the video.